What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and we're gonna find out why this Wolfbox dash cam and backup camera system is one of the highest recommended on Amazon. I'm gonna show you how to install it, and we're gonna cover some of the features so you know how to use it. This mounts over your existing mirror, and it records the front of your car and the back of your car at the same time. I set the recording for 1080p on the forward-facing camera, Right now it tells you everything on the screen in real time, your miles per hour, your time, your date, even the GPS location. The backup camera works even better in the rain. You see everything clearly. The forward facing camera is 170 degree lens. The backup camera is 150 degree lens. So Wolfbox is pretty popular on Amazon. We're going to check it out. We're going to install it. It comes with a one year warranty. Now there's two ways to install this. You can install it by plugging into the cigarette lighter port in your car, which most cars have. Or you could power up this system using this add-on kit. This is Wolfbox hardware kit, it's sold separately. And basically it consists of two fuse connections that plugs into your fuse box under your dashboard, a ground connection, which should be near your fuse box under your dashboard. And then a USB type C connection plugs into the mirror and you can turn it on and off using this button. And your output voltage is five volts, which is the type C connection, I believe. And then the input voltage is 12 volts, which is the fuse connections right here. And of course the ground connection, zero volts. All right, let's go ahead and take this off and check out what we have. Oh, and it does come with a micro SD card. Not a lot of them do have that. This is a class 10, 32 gig micro SD card. Here's the GPS, plugs in right here. Here's the backup camera cable. There you go, plug that in. That goes to the backup camera. Here's the backup camera. You have to take the film off, of course, and it has double-sided tape, or you could use the physical mount. And here is the rubber bands to mount it over your existing rear view mirror. And here's the power adapter right here so that's the type c connection i was talking about so on the starting to the left to right you got avn which is the backup camera cable connection and then you got a 3.5 connection that's for your gps antenna the sd card plugs into that middle connection and then on the right is the usb type c connection for power and this is the power on and off button right here so if you tap it once the screen will turn off. You tap it again, the screen will pop back on. It's still recording when you do this, but if you press and hold the button, it'll physically boot it down. So the mirror just clamps over your existing mirror and just bands lock into the hooks on the bottom right here. Now you can plug directly into your cigarette lighter port right here and then run the cable to your mirror. That would work, but that only gives you power when the car's on. If you want to record while you're parked, then use the fuse kit. Now we're going to do actually plug everything in last so we don't short anything out. I'm going to run the wires right through here. Just keep on feeding them in. There we go. Right here. Turn it back more. It should pop off right here. And let's feed the wires here. Go ahead and put that behind the airbag. Be sure to run the wires behind the airbag for safety reasons. For the backup camera, the other one was for the fuse box connections. There we go. And then now we have to pop this off. Just 
that. And then this should tuck behind the weather stripping. There we go. Tuck back there. Right here. You can uh, put this on, no problem. Now, if you want to use the cigarette lighter port for power, that's fine. You can skip over this section. But if you want 24 hour monitoring when your car is parked, then I suggest getting the add on kit, which is sold separately. The add on kit is a fuse kit that connects to your fuse box. Then you basically open up the fuse box. On the lid is a diagram where to plug in the fuse connections. The red wire will be plugged into ACC and the yellow wire will be plugged into constant power. It could be battery or labeled power outlet. And of course, the black wire will be connected to a ground source nearby. Continue to tuck in the cable underneath all the panels. Then bring it to the corner of the back seat. There should be a gap where you could bring it out to the trunk. I use a flashlight to see where the hole is. So go back to the seat, and if you see the light, then you can feed the wire through that hole. In the trunk, go ahead and locate the cable and pull it out. I ran the wire from that corner of the trunk up to here. If you cannot fit the backup camera cable in the wire harness in the trunk hinge, then you can use three zip ties to secure the cabling on the outside of the trunk hinge. So right here, this is the reverse lights. So we're gonna connect that red wire to that red wire. Looks like someone already did. Then they cut it off, I guess, when they sold the car. Next, drill a hole right above your license plate. In this part of my trunk, it's plastic, so it's easy to drill a hole. Now I'm using two small wood screws to secure this mounting plate to my trunk. This part of my trunk is plastic. I'm using the mounting plate because I want to tilt the backup camera when needed. To mount the backup camera to the mounting plate, use the small Phillips screws provided by Wolfbox. Peel off the film, then run the extra cabling inside the trunk. Go ahead and connect those two connections securely. And right here, I added a wire nut and connected the red wire to the red wire on the reverse light. Connecting the red wire to the reverse light is optional unless you really want those backup lines on the screen. All right, let's go ahead and test it out. And then we have the power. You want to make sure you power it on last because, you know, you don't want to be running wires and doing wiring with it powered. That'd be not good. That's GPS. And this is the backup camera. And then we can officially peel this off. In English. And we'll set that later. 60 hertz miles per hour. There we go. Format, please format the SD card. Oh, I forgot the, um, the front. This must be the front. There's got to be a film on it. Yep, yeah, there's a film. And let's go ahead and format it. Resolution. We'll do 1080p for now because I want 60 hertz. Because I believe 4K and 2K is 30 frames per second, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but... I want 60 frames per second, so that's 1080p. Loop time, one minute, that's good. You have one minute recordings. Here's my storage, and we can format it. Uh, audio recording, if you want privacy, you can turn that off. Compass, we have that on. G sensor, G sensor is basically if someone hits you, It'll lock that recording, I believe. That's G sensor, and that's language right here. These are all the different languages. 
you can have screen on or off I have it always on because that backup camera will be always on volume brightness settings we'll set it low for now or you can set it high screen display we'll do always rear reverse lines since we have it connected to the reverse lights we can have that on mirroring mirroring rear view we'll have that on tons tons of settings rear flip we don't need that that's if you mounted the camera the other way and it'll, everything looks upside down on the display then you can click on that and that would correct it and restore factory settings right here looks like a water droplet is on the lens as you can see right here I got maybe 10% visibility out of this side mirror maybe 25% visibility and out of the back window probably less than 25% visibility I could barely see the tree behind me barely see that car behind me and really don't see any of the street but with this rear view mirror I can see everything I can see the neighbor across the street I can see my neighbor right next door I can see the car down the street I can see the whole entire street and the car is parked this thing is incredible and you can adjust it this is probably one of the best dash cam backup camera systems I have ever installed it tells you the compass reading right here miles per hour your SD cards plugged in the microphone is muted it lets you know that the GPS is working and the audio is on but the microphone is off and it, and the red dot means it's recording and it tells you the time tap right here you can adjust the lighting or the backlight and you can take a snapshot and you can hit switch right here this is split mode and this is the forward facing dash cam we'll use right here Oh, it has a shortcut button so you can see all the footage. Oh, this is the locked footage in case someone hits you. Oh, here it is. All right, so that's how you switch. Oh, yeah. He just pulled in like not even like 30 seconds ago. This is definitely Tampa Tech approved. Hopefully this video helped you out with your purchase. Thanks for watching.